Hi guys! I finally got my um, jewelry armor and I've been yakking on about that for a very long time. Um, I bought it off uh, Amazon and um, unfortunately it's still not big enough to um, accommodate all my um, blinks. So I may have to um, get another one or maybe upgrade to um, the biggest one. I think the Hair Haywire by Pierre Imports is really, really a, a big one. So I think that's what I want. And I have um, two uh, big, uh, well, they're not big. I have two jewelry armoires there, one with a stand, which was a gift from my aunt. And the other one is, on the left side is... Um, the one from Amazon. Uh, it was on clearance actually. I only paid $115 or $120. It's a pretty good size. It's just not, it's still not big enough for everything. And as you can see, I've always had my watches separate. And um, my watch collection actually is the most um, watch uh, video in um, my uh, channel. And uh, I started off as a watch person. I've always been a watch, uh, you know, person. But then I've stopped buying watches. So um, I only have, I pretty much have the same what I I showed you, um, I think a year or two, or two years ago. So pretty much the same. I haven't added. In fact, I have sold some and I have given away um some so these are the only watches that i have right now so that's my um watch box and this is my temporary corner actually so i found this couture um magazine uh wall frame actually from the um thrift shop and uh, i bought them for i think eight dollars each and so I'm using um, them here right now, but I haven't um, hung the others because um, the Velcro wouldn't stick. So I actually got a total of four. I've already um, <clears throat> given away almost um, one fourth of my uh, jewelry uh, to um, friends and some of them um, <clears throat> I've sold. And um, recently, I've made a video on my Ericsson Beeman collection as well. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. I'm just coughing a lot this time. Okay, so this is my necklace stand. I love this necklace stand. So this is where my beads uh, go and my fall pearls go. So uh, let me just um, show you quickly and then we'll move on to a more elaborate <laughs> so there you go <clears throat> okay so I actually have loads of fashion books but um, I can only put one here uh, and I managed to <clears throat> I've decided to just put the costume jewelry because we're talking about a jewelry this time. So um, this is a Japanese um, um, lacquer thing. It's painted. It's really, really nice. I like it. I put some of my handmade brooches there. <laughs> and um, of all the, the paintings, this is my favorite. This one. And, and that... And this one actually looks like, who's that one in the ghost? Ghost Whisperer? Yeah, she does look like that, but I, I just love that. And um, the polka dot. I guess I'm more into the black and white thing. <clears throat> okay, so this is my watch box. And this is my original. This is the original uh, um, standing armoire that I have. It's just that it's not big enough. It has uh, five drawers and uh, of course, oh, so um, I'm not done yet, guys. So um, I've just, this, that's just to show you. I've, um, <coughs> I got rid of three of my uh, jewelry boxes and I gave them to um, my friend um, yesterday. 
Okay, so, and I also have this box. I'm keeping this box because it's from my, um, it's from my husband's aunt who, who actually gave me a lot of her uh, vintage of jewelry. So, and also this one was from her. Okay, I wanted to get rid of this yesterday, but then I was like, what the heck, I'm just going to keep it because, you know, um, I need more storage actually. So I think I really need a full size, a uh, closet size um, cabinet and then I'll just uh, b uh, buy the uh, sections for rings because even with this, I, I was complaining to my husband yesterday because I could not see the fair, the pair, I'm sorry, the pair of my studs. And it's really, really hard. You really have to dig in. Okay, so as you all know, the, the flip top drawer, <coughs> it opens up. And we'll do that later. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It it just looks so antique though, but um, I like it. I even um, asked my husband to paint this uh, like probably um pink or you know just make it make it uh, more more modern because i have a fear of antiques <laughs> i mean when it comes to furnitures i hate louis king louis beds and things like that I, it just it, it just gives me the creeps okay but this one is really really nicely done and um I, I like it. It's just that the collar, the collar is a bit too old for me. Okay, so this opens up on the sides, of course. And I've given away actually half of my necklaces because I did my um, jewelry cleanup and I'm only keeping um, a few, okay? And besides, I don't get to wear them at all. I don't work, so I only go to I only go out once a week to church to get dressed up and uh, that's it. So this is the first drawer. That's where my rings are and some um, loose pendants. Okay. And um, <clears throat> these are my earrings. I have um, vintage, mostly vintage. Actually, I love vintage. If you've been cha uh, um, watching my channel. And this is my catch-all. I... I I intentionally made this um, like uh, I, I made this empty because um, there are some jewelry pieces that I just wear um, every day like my watch I would put my watch here and my wedding ring and so on and so forth and of course my hair thing <laughs> and um, these are some bracelets bracelets a combination of um uh combination of um, vintage and um modern mostly vintage though and um, <coughs> this these are my bangles 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 mostly vintage again and um we'll get to that later okay so this is just an overview and these are my statement necklaces. I took them out of the box. So I have Oscar de la Renta, Dior's, uh, Monet's and things like that over there. And um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've made a lot of uh, videos on uh, vintage jewelry. So you may have seen some of them already. And these are my pearls or more sensitive uh, things. So okay so these are my pearl section i had to put them guys in um some dust bags that's from the real real okay and things like that because um these are the sensitive ones so i i i threw them all here yesterday like all my pearls but then i don't think it's such a good idea because you know i might scratch them so um yeah and this would be like some loose things and some um, vintage jewelry that uh, I don't think I will use. But nevertheless, I'm keeping them because um, s most of them are from <coughs> my Aunt Liz. <coughs> okay, what is this? I have an Irish thing there. These are actually Louis, Louis Vuitton um, keys that I've kept. And uh, I have them. Um, pendant here Th that is uh, vintage by the way <laughs> okay 
So um, this one fell off, so I, I still have to glue that bit. This one started to fall apart, guys. Oh, it's good. Okay. So this one, I have some of my bangles here. And then another drawer. Oh, jeez. Uh, for uh, bracelets again. And I have a vintage Gucci thing here. <coughs> buckle, buckle. Oh, jeez. Oh, these are my more precious, um, uh, um, more delicate and more precious um, vintage things. So these are my vint vintage um, brooches. I took them out of the red uh, box where I, I originally kept them. But I think it's a bad idea because they're all cramped in here. So I still have to solve that problem. <laughs> and here would be some my my cameos pendants and things like that and of course we'll take this out okay i, I bought another I, I bought um lapis lazuli bracelet i'm sorry uh, <laughs> it's a it's a necklace it's a torsade torsa torsa necklace um lapis but i just bought this last week guys it is freaking heavy. It's like how many strands? That's why I've read some review that um, uh, she actually asked the jeweler to remove two strands of these so it would be more manageable. And uh, it's really robust and it's very heavy, guys. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I have to keep it or um, uh, return it. And um, I don't know what to do. Okay, so this is the flip top oh okay some of the oh, earrings again I have a lot of earrings guys I've actually made um, I've thrown away a lot of my earrings and I've made them into projects I've turned them into uh, projects so um, I've um, actually decorated a lot of um, picture frames and gifted them to uh, my um, my son's teachers so okay so what's what's over here all right so let's discuss this thing first okay my watches all right if you didn't see my watch collection before i i uh encourage you to uh, do so so um <clears throat> i have a raymond wild watch here with diamonds i have this equator watch uh, with an 18 carat it's 18 carat, something like that. It's it's by um, Oraton. And I have my David Yerman watch. I love this watch with Pave um, uh, dial markers. I love this. This is my blue um, Movado watch. I'm, I actually misplaced one of my Movado watches that was an original gift. <laughs> and this is Bomb and Mercier. A Riviera watch. This is my Swarovski a crystalline watch. I have two Eco Citizens. I love Eco Citizen watches, guys, because I don't have to pay twenty or twenty five dollars each time the battery <laughs> breaks down. So um, this one was a push present when I had my uh, second child, and this one is. Uh, a bit newish. I bought it in Macy's for I think four hundred ninety five, and <coughs> I'm sorry. What is this? I have three of these actually. I used to have the silver one. Um, this is Techno Marine. This is in gold. Gold. I have a silver one. I think I, I sold it or gave it away. And I have this. This is rose gold. This is a combination of rose gold and silver tone. It's Techno Marine also. And I have my, I put my, my, my hobbies thingy here, Echo Citizen watch. And these are just some of my uh, vintage watches. I have loads of vintage watches um, downstairs that are for um, repairs. So, and for battery replacement. Uh, but I love this one. This is a Seiko watch, a vintage watch from um, my husband's aunt. And it's, you know, the, the watches of ladies before, they are just so dainty, guys. So, yeah, so that's the first one. Okay, so uh, let me see. Look at these. These are just beads and um, this is copper. <clears throat> 
So if we suddenly get, uh, uh, I mean, if we suddenly uh, get cut off, I may have to do a uh, part two. All right, so there you go. This is a, a vintage, uh, I think this is copper, like a Celtic necklace. These are brass, and the other one, they're just so weighty, super weighty. Okay, guys, this looks like the Fendi Pequin um, uh, thing, but it's vintage. And this one, I made it myself. I ripped off <laughs> a Fendi bag that I suspect to be, um, I suspected to be of, uh, fake. So I made it, I turned it into a headband and um, this. So uh, I'm not using it anyway, so it's okay. So these are just like um, long, long necklaces or belts, but um, yeah, I, I've used this to, to decorate my thing. These, these are just... Um, <coughs> beads and these are just like amber things and um i i love this is i'm not sure what material this is but um this is very very shiny and all that so and um these are gifts from i, I like this too that that's from my aunt and look, look at that. It's, there's just a ton of things here. But there are things that I really, really don't like. And I will never, ever wear. And there are a lot of fall pearls here. We could, you know, stay here all day, guys. And this one is glass pearls. I mean, fall glass pearls. They, they're glass. So, uh, I think this is what they call the wedding. And it also comes with a um, um, bracelet. And what else is in here? Okay, so that's it. That's for the first one. Oh, I, I just want to show you this. <clears throat> this looks like a Brito uh, thing. So I'm going to make it into a keychain. Hmm. So that's... Oh, I have um, vintage watches from, from my um, thingy as well. And some pins there. Oh, this is a Cameo. This is actually um, a Malachite thing. I have to put it in my Cameo. Oh, the ring is here. Okay. All right. So... That's that that was from my aunt. Now I'm uh, moving on to my uh major thing. Okay, guys. Um so I have my fall David Yerman there and I have my real David Yerman there. Not not much difference, guys. <laughs> okay, these two are um okay. I haven't worn these, guys. These are by Kate Spade. I haven't worn these. Uh, I just took them out of their boxes uh, so I could hang them, but I think it's not a good idea to put them here. So, uh, I, I don't know, guys. I thought this jewelry armoire was going to solve all my um, storage problem, but it doesn't. But I think I just have too much, I guess. So, there you go. So, this is a vintage keychain. <laughs> So these are my, um, these are mostly vintage. Look at that. It's, this is like a Whitey and Davis thing. And um, this is vintage, guys. This is vintage again. Vintage, vintage. It's like, it's like an Etruscan style. And I have two new ones here. I mean, uh, I mean, contemporary. I have, um, this is from J. Crew, and this is from banana uh republic all right so um now here i think this is banana republic also okay and um i have chandelier earrings here i don't know what this is for my husband was saying maybe you're supposed to tuck in your jewelry there so i'm like okay um this is a Faux Chanel. <laughs> and this is a big, um, uh, okay, shell, shell uh, pearl. And um, yeah, some, that's uh, silver with amethyst. That's, um, that's from Czech Republic crystals or garnet. And that's uh Swarovski. All right. I'm, I want to show you. I've made a video on this one too. Uh, oh, shoot. Okay. So this is um, the Faw David Yerman. Faw David Yerman. It is two-tone. I, I got that from a thrift shop before. 
<laughs> for seven dollars and this is my real um david yearman that cost me i think less than a thousand dollars this is a medium link chain chain thing and i've just read it just now that uh chain link uh, necklaces are the in <laughs> things right now so get your chain link necklaces out right now okay now okay these are i would consider this two of these heirloom okay heirloom so this is from my aunt it's like a chorus so cute look how old that is it's sticking out and this is from joseph of hollywood and I love this. This is from Joan Rivers. And this is from my my um, in-laws. Alright? So, okay. it comes with a... It actually has a, a pair. But uh, I can't find it right now. It's somewhere. Okay, so, that's the first one. Let me just put that out. I just poured it. Okay, guys. Um, I couldn't possibly thinking this in i have a vintage monets here vintage fifaris vintage monets the monets are actually um triple plated so um <clears throat> i'm sorry if i could yeah all right so this is actually guys i've been wearing this this is one of the oldest and funkiest things this is like a, a bone carved um uh, it doesn't look i mean it's not ivory it's a bone carved um um, necklace i just love the feeling guys although these dum dum <laughs> they it freaks me out sometimes it creeps me out but it's like in a fun in a funny way all right so what do we have here oh geez i'm just gonna um i hope i will have the energy to put everything back okay so i love these guys this is um vintage vintage can you just lovely piece lovely lovely piece and this is vintage as well look at that and that's monet and this is um monet too all right so what have we here ah uh, those are just some balls john rivers and um okay what else do we have here look at that so guys if you compare the quality of the costume jewelry um, of uh, yesteryears to the now uh, there you know they don't even have a tinge of you know it's not tarnished at all and this one i love it because it's like a chanel thing as well you could you know this is a very very long necklace and you could layer it up so i'm just not good at layering guys because i'm more of like um a very conservative wearer okay this is a um this is a monet it's very very um the, it, it has a matte brushed finish look at that it's uh it's really really a um a vintage piece and what else do i have here okay so and um i can't get get those things out so you can see okay now going back to here so what have we here okay these are my four pearls uh there's um there's a long pearl there is a, a colored pearl pink and this is i i want to ch channel chanel <laughs> by layering yourself with pearls okay they, um there's a saying that you can one can never have too many pearls all right and these are my um real pearls okay so it's like chocolate this is double layer actually and um this is from the philippines okay my my um sister gifted this to me so um yeah love 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 that love it and these are real pearls of course they're from the philippines and um these two is a coral necklace from the philippines so Ah, it's very very nice to the touch i actually have to submerge this in water i mean in a glass of milk just to make sure that it is um a coral it did turn uh the milk uh tinge of um tinge of red and it when you click them together 
it's plastic it doesn't it doesn't um uh sound like glass because four corals are um made of glass i just love this I, i'm not really sure if this is like a chocolate thing yeah i think this this video is go going too long and of course one of my favorite ones is a uh, semi-precious um it could be a jadeite or something but it is uh, very it's it's it sure is a very i i paid 50 bucks for this guys from um from a palm beach uh, thrift shop and um whether or not it's jade i know this is vintage and um some some of them say it's jade um just for the you know the clinking but uh, this is like chinese carved but it could be just you know semi-precious stone i don't care it's it's super super heavy guys so i i don't really care i love 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 it and now okay this one i still have i i asked the tiffany um tiffany in boca to clean my my set uh, my necklace my my bracelet and my earrings and i haven't had the chance to go back guys and it's been uh like three months okay guys this one i have a very funny story about this one i thought this was for pearls so this was actually in my shoe box like it's like one in my reject box because this is a choker and it really really you know it's really really tight what well, it's meant to be because it's a choker so uh, i just got this from a f uh, from an estate sale when i went to um uh one of my estate sales and i thought this was fake but this was priced at $25, but uh, I think she gave it to me for $5. And then all the while, you know, I just had this in my shoe box and everything with all the metals and everything. I really didn't take care of it. <clears throat> and then two weeks ago, <clears throat> I went to Macy's and then I saw a pearl that looks exactly like this. So I was like, hmm, okay, I have something like that. So I went, when I came back, <clears throat> my, my son started to, I asked him to check it run through run this through his um teeth and he said mama it's gritty so <clears throat> i think it's real and so i was like oh yeah i think you're right i think it's real so i brought it to jared's and they told me yeah these are real and then i brought it to michael's elite jewelry and they told me yeah these are um sea pearls because of the shape and i was like really and i and macy's had this for i think very expensive like 500 dollars, but it was 18k so i ha i didn't have these tested so i just had the pearls tested so now that i know they're real they <laughs> for now that i don't have my tiffany piece <clears throat> they are here okay so guys this is a, a, a giant shell pearl shell pearls are not real but anyway they're really really good it's these are big big how many m's mm's like 28 something like that okay i love this these are very chunky and shell pearls are nice because um you don't have to be sensitive to any of the elements if you spray them with um with uh, perfume or, or gel or whatever it, it's gonna be the same and besides it's, it's from the same shell pearl anyway it's literally the same from uh, it it, can, it comes from a real uh, pearl but you know th how they do it they pound it and then uh, whatever it's like a mother of pearl thing <clears throat> this one however is real it's real it's baroque and uh i got this again from my sister they are real they're they're called coin pearls because they're flat and they're real from the philippines and this one is fall pearls from uh, it's a vintage thing from, from, uh, I believe this is Miriam Haskell. It's unsigned because most of the, uh, unsigned beauties or from the early ones. Look at that. Look at that detailing. You just have to look at the back, the filigree and all that. So that's, um, uh, like, um, Miriam Haskell. And also, I also have these. This is, this is Kenneth J. Lane. I just love, love this. Isaac, Isaac, can you please get the bag, the bamboo bag that says J-A-D, it has some jewelry as well. Okay, there you go, guys. So, let me just put them back. Now, moving on to this. Downstairs, Baba. 
Okay. Um, there's the basket thing. No! Basket? Ba it's the bag that says J.A.D. in, uh, J.A.D. in, in my collection. This is a, um, a Christian Dior. This is a Christian Dior, um, necklace that I bought for, I think, $225 or $250 from a consignment shop in Boca. And this has an extender and you could, um, thing it. This is really, really, uh, a statement piece. And when I, um... Gave it to the real real for them to sell. They were selling it for three hundred ninety five, and or four hundred. But I said okay, uh, I will only get fifty percent of that. So I asked it to be returned to me. There you go. All right. So I have Oscar de la Renta. I already sold the other Oscar de, Oscar de la Renta. I haven't worn the other one when I sold it. This is the feathered necklace, Oscar de la Renta. I Renta. I paid. Um, so, I think 250 for this as well and sadly this is not something that you can wear every day it's like you know <laughs> so um yeah so uh, I have it I have it here I won it at an auction on eBay and um, yeah now what do we have here okay this is a vintage piece it's a part semi parur not semi parur demi parur set look at that this is um this is by monet look at that look at that and um monet pieces are triple plated and this is very very hard to find i think i paid 125 dollars for the pair at the flea market guys okay so at the flea market but i just where can you find thing pieces like this you know it's just really 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 beautiful okay and i have another monet that i paid 35 bucks for this is a lariat it's a lariat or a tassel mm, tassel necklace look at that and it's very very long it's very very it's super 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 long okay oh geez i hope i'll have the energy to put everything back okay this is a it has a pair this is with soda light and everything that i got from an, an estate sale this is um carolee oh okay carolee this is a vintage um david Bierman wannabe <laughs> okay <clears throat> look at that this is actually a, like a long necklace a belt necklace so whatever you want. I just love it. Um, you know, I like to embellish my bags too. So sometimes I use those. This is a Monet vintage. These are all vintage guys. So this is a, a silver choker. I love this 925 woven thing. Okay. And here I want to show you some some oh what is this oh this is what i'm talking about this is in very in season again um it's like a, a, a chanel wannabe uh ne 